Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is t to power 9 plus t to power 6, this is equal to 36. Now, what is the value of t? And given that t is a member of real numbers, and that t is greater than 0. Now, let's get the solution here. The solution here, we can express t to power 9 as t to power 3 this to power 3 plus t to power 6 can be expressed as t to power 3 this to power 2 this is equal to 36 the next step from here we can say let t to power 3 be equal to x so let's substitute t to power 3 with x so here we'll have x to power 3 Plus, here we'll have x squared. This is equal to 36. The next step from here, let's take 36 on the left-hand side. So here we'll have x to power 3 plus x to power 2 subtract 36. This is equal to 0. The next step from here, this means here we have x to power 3 plus x to power 2 subtract 36 we can express 36 as 27 plus 9 this is equal to 0 now here we have x to power 3 plus x squared subtract 27 can be expressed as 3 to power 3 subtract 9 which we can express as 3 squared this is equal to 0 the next step from here, we have x to power 3. We have this one 3 here, and we have 3 here. So we can combine this. That is x to power 3, subtract 3 to power 3, plus x to power 2 here, and we have 3 to power 2. So we'll have x to power 2, subtract 3 to power 2. This is equal to 0. The next step from here, we have two part here. We have two part here. The first part is the difference of two cubes expressed as a cubed minus b cubed. This is the difference of two cubes, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. This implies that x to power 3 subtract 3 to power 3. This is the same thing as x minus 3. Here we have x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Let's call this equation 1. The next part here, which is x squared minus 3 squared, this is actually the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b a minus b in this particular part you can either use a squared or minus b squared you can use x squared minus y squared yeah so here we'll have x squared minus 3 squared which is equal to x plus 3 and here we'll have x subtract 3 so let's call this equation 2 So x squared minus 3 squared is x plus 3, x minus 3. So let's call this equation 2. So let's combine equation 1 here and equation 2 as follows. So by combining equation 1 and 2, this implies that we have x minus 3. Here we have x squared plus 3x plus 9. And then plus here we have x plus 3 x minus 3 now this is equal to 0 now x minus 3 and x minus 3 is common here so let's factor out x minus 3 so here we'll have x squared plus 3 x plus 9 plus now here we have x plus 3 close the bracket this is equal to 0 
Now this implies we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 3, and this is equal to 0. And the second part is here, which is x squared. We have 3x plus x. That means we have 4x, so plus 4x. Then plus 9 plus 3, this is equal to 12. So this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we can call this on x1, which is equal to 3. Now the next part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. So let us assess the nature of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is essentially equal to b squared. This is b squared minus 4ac. From this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 4, and we have c equal to 12. So substituting a, b, and c to get this discriminant value, we'll have 4 squared subtract 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12. So that here, we'll have 4 squared, this is 16, subtract 4 times 12, this is 48. So that here, 16 minus 48, this is minus 32, and this is less than 0. This implies we have two complex roots here, or solutions in this case. And this one will not give us a real solution. So this part is rejected. So this part is rejected given the condition that t is a member of real numbers. So this quadratic equation part is rejected. So we have x is equal to 3. So if you recall here, if you recall here, we are saying that let t be equal to, that is t to power 3, be equal to x. Let t to power 3 be equal to x. And x in this case is equal to 3. So here we have t to power 3. This is equal to 3. Now, to solve for the value of t, we multiply both signs by 1 over 3. So that e will have 3 raised to power 1 over 3. So we simplify here. And the value of t is equal to 3 to power 1 over 3. 3. So this is the value of t. Or you can express t as the cube root of 3, either of the two. So this is the value of t. So let's verify that this value of t actually satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. Now, if you recall, if you recall here, we are saying that t to power 9 plus t to power 6, this should give us a value of 36. Substituting the value of t, we'll have 3 to power 1 over 3 raised to power 9 plus 3 to power 1 over 3 raised to power 6. This should give us a value of 36. Let's simplify here. So by 3, 1. By 3 here, this is 3. So here we have 3 to power 3. Plus, now we simplify here. 6 divided by 3, this is 2. So here we have 3 to power 2. This should give us a value of 36. So 3 to power 3, this is 27. And 3 to power 2, this is 9. And this is equal to 36. And this implies that 27 plus 9, this is equal to 36, which is equal to 36. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, the value of t, which is equal to 3 to power 1 over 3, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.